Welcome to the Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Dave Trumbo, head coach of the women's volleyball team. And coach, go out on Saturday and, and get that six or six straight bid to the NCAA fifth straight conference championship. <laughs> it, was, it, it was the typical Messiah Stevenson matchup mm-hmm. where uh, goes five. Uh, we probably should have won that first one, kind of gave it to them, mm-hmm. and that sometimes can come back to bite you. And thankfully, the second and third set, we played much better. Uh, four set, uh, Messiah hit 297, uh, beat us pretty good. Mm-hmm. And thankfully, we got off to a good start in the fifth set. And when you're playing the fifth game, you've got to get off to a good start. And thankfully, uh, Sarah Bollinger got back there with her serve and did a great job. And Annika stepped up big time with mm-hmm. four kills and three blocks in that fifth set. And so that really, she was a difference maker in that fifth set. There was a lot of excitement in that fifth set, uh, both on the court with the players and then in the in the crowd too. With a huge crowd on mm-hmm. hand, uh, what did that do for the momentum in the set? Well, I, I thought there was probably it was equal. Mm-hmm. You know, the Messiah travels really well, mm-hmm. and there was a lot of Messiah fans there. Uh, they had ten seniors, so mm-hmm. this was their last game mm-hmm. uh, together. And so there was a lot of emotion and uh, from parents as, as well as players. Uh, so I think just the environment to play in like that, our girls love that noise. They mm-hmm. love having a huge crowd. They love the pomp and circumstance. So, uh, you know, so, and they seem to perform well mm-hmm. under that, in that atmosphere. And we keep talking about being battle-tested. Mm-hmm. They sure, certainly were battle-tested in this win streak of yours that you got going on with some high-profile teams mm-hmm. and then in that conference championship what does that do getting you ready for the NCAA tournament with Randolph Macon that you're going to go play at Mary Washington? Uh, you know, we've got a nice mixture of freshmen and sophomores and juniors and seniors all on the court. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think, like, the juniors and seniors that have been there before, they can lead the sophomores. I mean, it's not an accident that, that Sarah sets Victoria twice mm-hmm. because we've got a freshman – middle set by a senior setter that she can keep her focus the way the lineups put together is with experience Mm -hmm. and um confidence in mind uh so we feel like we put together a pretty good balanced lineup and uh, not depending on any one person right you know because when we can win and you know mariah savage didn't have a great game this the referees called it very tight they were mm-hmm. consistent, but it was very tight. So we both teams kind of had to go back to what they knew they could do without <laughs> being called for a double, mm-hmm. and uh, that was go outside. <laughs> yeah. And that's what Messiah loves to do anyway. And you guys had uh, some pretty good passing out of that back and a lot of experience out of that back line too, yes. getting those plays set. Yeah, I'm really glad you brought that up because uh, Kristen Brooks and Annika Swartz and Deanna Bradbury are three primary passers. All three pass phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Uh, They just, uh, you know, time after time, the ball was right to the setter's hands and we could run our offense. And uh, that was probably the difference in the game was the serving and the passing, which it always comes down to. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did a good job serving them tough, and I thought we did a great job passing and setting up our offense. And I imagine that will be part of the game plan headed into this weekend and looking for a little bit of retribution getting past the first round this year. It always is the game plan, and some days you just have better days passing than others. Um, we, we practice it every day. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why when we go to down to Mary Washington to play, we'll ha- each team has an hour practice on the day before. Mm-hmm. It's all about getting used to the court and the background and the lights and being able to yep. see the ball and serve receive uh, it, to be able to put up a good pass. And you also have a pretty solid uh, coaching staff there with you, too, getting you prepared as far as what you'll see from the opposition and how to prepare and um, get the ball down when you need it. Yeah. You know, Bobby Knight used to say, you know, everybody has that will to win, but how hard are you going to prepare to win? Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, Brent Whitehead, Laura Whitehead, um, yeah, I mean, Mel- Melissa Button, is, is yeah. she, she, I mean, because all three of them are working on different segments of getting us ready, mm-hmm. even if it's the buses right. and the rooms and all the things that all have to go together to make it, make it successful for mm-hmm. us. Um, so everybody's got their role, uh, just like the players have their role. Yep. And, um, you yeah, know, the preparation this year has had a, had a major impact on all the film work that Brett uh, Whitehead does and gets us prepared and gets that get into my hands so we can both watch it and decide how we're going to go with the game plan. Well, Coach, we'll be watching these games this weekend, and I'm hoping it's games. Yes, <laughs> games. <laughs> games. Uh, good luck this weekend, and we wish you the best, and uh, we'll be watching. Thanks, Joe. He's Dave Trumbo. I'm Joe Wallman. This has been the Coach's Corner. <laughs>